hydrogen tap. I've been experimenting again with the Aaron cell outside the tube and come across some interesting things here. If we look at what's going on, eighteen amps. This is a standard Aaron cell, which is three by six, spaced an eighth of an inch apart. This is in distilled water. I better turn the fan on here. And it's running off of lye. Let's turn it off for a while. Give me a chance to breathe. The interesting thing about this is the bubbles are really small. Just like the bubbles that were showing up with the Widowmaker. But they're not the same color. It's a different type of bubble. Now if I take this and put it in tap water, I get the same type of bubbles that come up, the same color, but of course eventually it turns dark. And I'll show you this again, see if you can see what I'm talking about. Set it off again. Running at 18 amps here. Let me uh, turn that off and restart it here so you can see what's going on. Needless to say the Aaron cell is working It's really a good staple. It has always been a good cell. There are 16 plates in here. I mean 15 plates. 3 by 6 spaced an eighth of an inch apart. If you go to hydrogentap.com hydrogentaptap.com you can see the still photos of it. It's really been a good cell. Also, if you want to write me at John Aaron's at hydrogentap.com, I answer all my email that's civil. Okay, now I want to start it up again. Well, let's bring it back a little bit further here so you get the full view of it. Let's see if you can see the amperage here. Okay, I'm going to start her up. It really does produce but it's a little different. I guess as soon as we figure out what the difference is, we'll have it unlocked. You can see the Aaron cell really does produce. As a matter of fact, I have to turn it off. It's producing too much. I don't know whether you can see the hydrogen peeling off the top or not.
from where I'm standing, it's, you can see whiffs of it coming off the top. It really is producing a lot of hydrogen. sound you hear in the background is my fan. <laughs> Again, this is the Aaron cell and you really do have to measure the amount of lye, in this case lye, or electrolyte you put in the water. It's almost the less the better. So that's one of the things we have to chart out is to figure out exactly the, the amount of lye. <coughs> this is in distilled water and lye. I'm getting ready to install the second switch in the Honda, which I will do tomorrow if it doesn't rain. And that second switch is going to make it so I can disable the second cell. That's It's the twin that's in the Honda, and I'm having a lot of heat problems. A lot of that problem is from the fact that the cell is under the hood of the car and even without turning it on it gets very hot under there. I can see now that I'm going to have to install some type of cooling apparatus, if you will, so that I can cool the cell down. That's one of the things I guess we have to do now. So far I've been testing the Honda on running on full cell, both cells at one time, and I have to turn it off because the amount of heat that the water puts out causes that runaway effect. If I ran the cell lower rate, then it wouldn't do that, but I'm running the cell at about 25-30 amps. I intend to be running at around 30 amps, so with that in mind, I need a cutoff switch that I can switch the cell so I use half at a time if need be. Anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow on that. So I'll be installing that second switch. I've got a lot of commotion around my car lately. A lot of people are asking questions about it. We'll see what happens. There's a lot of hydrogen here and I can see I'm going to have to vent it off 